it was, it was just an imagination thing that I felt that I was the life and I was and I was I like, think most likely you are. I was life itself I think most possibly. likely you are. No, that's what subjective no. dreams are unfortunately yeah. Yeah. it wasn't a dream it wasn't a dream what was it I felt a presence come upon me yeah that's okay cool dream experience presence all the same thing to us it's subjective you agree subjective is wrong and, this, and you demonstrated it as well that you know it could not be true. That's why, as Muslims, that as Muslims, what we believe in. This is why not, not, this is why not many people will take. It's going to take. A, I believe everybody will be saved. Do you know why you're prone to depression? Do you know why you? Okay, go on, go on. I believe everybody will eventually be saved. But this is one of the reasons why it's going to take a long time for everybody to be eventually be saved. Because most people are just blindly following books. Or just going along their own, living their own life. We don't blame you. Hang on, hang on. You're, you're, hang on. You're incriminating yourself. You're saying that other people are blindly following their book, but you're blindly following your desires, I'm your feelings. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. The whole conversation is double standards. To be fair. You said it's objective. Christopher, not objective. the whole conversation is double standards. Okay, so define to me what is objective. What's your objective uh, evidence? I have got any. So wow. you're subjective then. There we go. Then you can't expect anyone to believe. Oh, but I haven't got any because I haven't worked on myself. You know, this is the problem. The, the, you know what you delved into? This is how the society made you think. Materialism. Society? Yes, you, you don't even realise. You don't realise. Society doesn't tell you that. You don't realise. Because society taught you that. You are a Everybody would be free. You are a product of environment. Oh my God. No, do you know yes, why? Do you yes, know why? yes, you are. Because the society you, tells you have a sheepish mentality by just following what the society tells you. What does society tell you? The society, society tells you you're not certain about anything. The society That's what tells society you. is telling you. Yeah. What? Okay, okay, you could be a biological man, but society can tell you if you feel like Wait a woman. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Exactly. It's an example. It's an example. It's an example. I'm not following. Do you mind me if I ask you? Do you mind if I ask you how old are you? Okay, so maybe, okay, okay, you're not in the gender generation. Okay, fine, I'll, 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 I'll take, I'll retract that, okay? But what I'm trying to say to you is this, right? You don't have an objective truth. So if I believe because I feel what I want is true and I can't prove any evidence, you can't refute me. If I believe that there is no God because of subjective feeding, then I'm following exactly the same criteria that you're following. Yeah, you have to be consistent. So you have to be consistent. You can't have the cake and eat it at the same time. That's why, that's why um, I don't generally go around talking about what happened to me. I don't generally go around talking about what, uh, the, the experience I felt. So you, you have, so, so if, if an atheist is presented to you, they don't believe in God, are you just going to say, you know what, uh, you know, I respect your your belief, you know, subjective. No, you know, I would talk about it. Why would you talk about it? Because you can you can see you can see that there has the fact that there is consciousness. Ah, see there you go. So it's not about your subjective feeling, you're objectively proven. Yeah. Yeah, so objectively. Yeah. That's what I'm telling you. Do you do you not see that's the problem? You're going by you have no criteria, no standard. You know what's our standard? The revelation from the Quran and from the teachings of the Prophet Sallallahu Objective. We can establish why this objective, uh, this objectivity is from God. Why this source of guidance would benefit you. But you can't. You can't have a debate with an atheist. We as Muslims, we can. Because we believe we're upon the haq, we're upon the truth. Yeah. Objectively, you can't. I can't have a debate with an atheist. No, no, I'm saying, look, look, look. Do you know, for example, look. You believe that there is God, but your line of thinking, it contradicts. It leads to contradiction. For example, if somebody say 2 plus 2 equals to 4, you believe 2 plus 2 equals to 4. Somebody ask you, why is 2 plus 2 equals to 4? But you know the way how you explain? It doesn't need to 4, it needs to 5, it needs to 6. That's how you are. You're in a, you have a set of contradicting beliefs. You know, at the, the end of the day, at the end of the day, they're just numbers. Huh? You can, they're just numbers and you can say what you can. No, that's not my point. The point is, the point is, right? <coughs> Mathematics, if you want to go down that route, I can. Mathematics is a concept that was created by humans, correct? Yeah. We're the one who define what is one, what is two. Do you see one and two walking physically? No, this is a concept. Do you understand? Yeah. So we designed, we made one plus one equals to two. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah, with that presupposition that one plus one equals to two. So there are certain axioms, self-evident, that objectively you cannot say that one plus two equals to three. This is the problem. So my question is, what's your axiom? What's so your? So are you saying that all them? I don't know how many people. I would say out of out of eight billion people on this planet, I would say maybe ten percent of the population has the, has this has the same experience of the I am. I, look, I told you. I told are you. Are you telling again. me we're all wrong? I told you again. I told you again. Don't go by what the majority or the minority. Go by the truth. 
You know what Allah says in the Quran? Allah says the majority of people on earth, they will be wrong. A majority does not mean it's right or wrong. Yeah. It's about the truth. But if majority people you believe... Contra if majority that's a contradiction with Islam. Then, well, why is that contradiction? Because I've heard many Muslims, and I can't remember if you said it as well. No. But I've heard many Muslims say, oh, Islam is the truth because look how many people are following it. No, no, no. Well, no, no, no. But if you look at their journey, it's not out of emotions. Do you know there was a, there was an extensive study that was done in Edinburgh University. On average, do you know how long it took a person to accept Islam? Seven years. Extensive research. It's not like overnight, you know, oh, Islam sounds emotional. Oh, I accept Islam. No, they did extensive study. Going through the claims that Prophet Muhammad says, going through the claims that the Quran made. That's it. So that's my point. Yeah? That's the reason why we say Islam is the fastest growing. And you know what? That's one of the miracles of the Quran. Allah says in the Quran, Allah says that it is He who has sent guidance. He, it is He who sent the messenger with guidance to prevail all other religions, even if the mushrikeen, even if the disbelievers hate it. And you see this today. Islam is the fastest growing religion in the world. This country, England and Wales, according to the census, in 2021, Christianity is now a minority religion. Why is that? That's my whole point. Christianity is dead, yeah, I agree. So why is Islam rising? Even though Islamophobia is at its rise, but yet there's a correlation. As, Islam is, uh, as Islamophobia increases, you would think that Islam should come down, but it's going up. Why? Why are majority of reverts are women? Even though the media portrays Muslim women are getting oppressed. I'd say the majority of people that convert to Islam, yeah. Uh, they just blindly Did you hear the study that I just gave you? Yeah. On average, it took seven years. And we're not talking about some next Tom, Dick and Harry. We're talking about academic, those who are well educated, those who have university degrees, half from Harvard University, from Yale University. They all studied Islam intensively. And they come to conclusion, this is the truth. The Quran is the revelation from Allah and Muhammad is the message of Allah. And based upon last week's conversation, I've already refuted your point about Muhammad Sassan came here to gain followers from the Christians. I've already refuted that. I've already established to you that Muhammad Sassan is well known as a as Sadiq al Amin, as honest and trustworthy. So if 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 you have no reason why Muhammad Sassan is a false prophet, then by default he's a true prophet, correct? Then you should accept Islam. And usually I don't tell people to, to take the Shahada because usually usually people uh, who come to the park, they just want to know about Islam. But you've been coming to speak Quran for a long time. I've seen you around. And I even I even asked you last week, you know, how many surahs are in the Quran? You, uh, you answered the question correctly. What's the essential message of the Quran? You say to worship one God alone. So you have read the Quran. You know about Islam. So I'm asking you, why don't you accept Islam? Because I just can't accept the concept of hell. 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 You know what? This <laughs> Islam, by definition, means and also, something. And also, I feel like personally, when I'm reading the Quran, yeah, I feel like I'm being threatened by something. Oh, right, 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 right. Hang on, hang on. So, if Islam is the truth, I shouldn't be threatened by, by God. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. If you know that Prophet Muhammad SAW is speaking the truth, then paradise is truth. Then, then hell is truth. Forget about your feelings. Do you know what hell is? Hell is not a place where you burn. So, if Prophet Muhammad SAW is a true prophet, the hell exists. Yeah. I just copied from everybody else. So, wait, wait, hang on, hang on. You still cannot refute to me why Muhammad says is not a true prophet. I've already refuted you. Well, okay, for example. Either he's lying, either he's deluded, or he's speaking the truth. Which one? I believe he took a lot of his, his teaching from the people around him. From the people around him. Okay, give me evidence. Okay, for example, the uh, um, the story of, the, um, of Jesus speaking from the cradle. Yeah. That, that was not in early Christianity. Uh, wait, 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 hang on, hang on. This is from the infancy gospel of St. Thomas. Yeah, that was later on. And no Christian knew about this. Okay, that was from like 300 years so after Where did you get this from? And you do know at that time, Christianity, Judaism, uh, that the, the, only, the only people who can access these books are those who are well educated. He was an unlettered. He did not have any access to Jewish and Christian books. So where is he getting this from? And in fact, the Quran even refutes that. Huh? How do you know they didn't have it? Because the Jews and the Christians, those who are well professed in their, in their religion, the only ones who, who knows the books are those who are priests and, 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 and rabbis. They only had access to the books. Do you know, do you know, the, uh, you know the Bible? It comes to Professor Sidney Griffiths. He's a professor in early Christianity and he specializes in Arab Christianity. He says that, that there was no 
Bible. There was no New Testament that circulated around the time of the Prophet Do you know when the New Testament was first circulated in Arabia? 10th century. And Prophet Muhammad Sallam, he did not know how to speak Hebrew, Greek. Where is he getting this from? Now, however, there were liturgical. Are you sure they didn't have. They did. There was no. New no. Testament. No. So then, how were the Christians believing? No, because the Christians, uh, because they were different sects, Nestorians. Okay, but yeah. they did not have the New Testament, and he, nobody taught him. Why didn't the Jews or Christians ever accuse him that he's learning this from Jews and Christians? Why? Why wouldn't you find that? But if they didn't have the New Testament, why does why does the Quran talk about uh, apparently that Muhammad is written in their own scripture? Right, right. So there are evidences even from the Old Testament, New Testament, that Prophet Muhammad has been prophesied. My point is this. But if they my, didn't have any New Testament, my any point books, is this. My my point is this. Right. If you say that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam learned this from a Jew or, an, or, or, or a Christian, provide evidence. What you're doing right now is assumption. They wanted to kill him. Because, because, a, lot, because, I lot, because a lot of, the, a lot of yeah. what he said about the gospel. And, uh, and from, from he had no knowledge. Even the Muckins. Why did the Muckins? Wait, wait, hang on. Why is, it all, why, is it all, why is a lot of it then? Why is a lot of what he said about the gospel? Okay, do, why is it, why, why is it yeah. third, fourth, fifth century uh, yeah. myths? Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. In the Arabian Peninsula, the only history that they know of is their own people from the from the line of Ishmael. Sorry. Ishmael, Hagar, right? They don't know anything about the Jewish side. Why should they know about the Jewish side? They only knew about their, their forefathers, Ishmael and Abraham. They did not know about the Jewish prophets, their stories. Now they heard names, Isa, Jesus, yes, but they didn't know about the, the stories in detail. And why did the Meccans, and if you read the Sirah, if you look at the Bible of the Prophet, please be upon him, why did the Meccans, why did they go to the Jewish tribes in Medina? To, to quiz, to try and, you know, to try and suss him out. Why? Because no Meccans knew about the Jewish prophets. Stories of Abraham, stories of, sorry, they did know about Abraham. Like stories of uh, Isaac, stories of Jesus, stories of Moses, right? So why did the Meccans, why did they travel to Yathrib, to Medina at that time? And the Jews say, look, ask these four questions. And if he doesn't get these questions right, he's a false prophet. Why? Because the Makkans didn't know about this. And by the way, you know Surah Maryam? The chapter of Mary? Let me ask you this question. Do you know the difference between the Makki and Madani uh, chapters? Makki and Madani surahs. Okay, so do you know that the Quran wasn't revealed in one? You do know about this. The Quran was revealed over... Over 23 years. That's it, you're correct. You're correct. Yeah, over 23 years, right? So the Prophet, peace be upon him, he propagated Islam 13 years in Mecca and 10 years in Medina. Do you know when Surah Maryam was revealed? Do you know where it was revealed? In Mecca or Medina? Mecca. There were no Jews and Christians in Mecca. How did he know all of these stories? Where is he getting this from? And if you look at the Bhagavad of the Prophet, peace be upon him, the only two times that he went to uh, Medina is with his mother and on a trip, two times. And you're telling me in these two occasions, he learned all of these stories, regurgitating the stories from the past, in detail. Seriously? Where do you think you get this information? And Allah answers this. ذَلِكَ مِنْ أَنْبَاءِ الْغَيْبِ نُوحِهِ إِلَيْكَ That is the news from the unseen which we reveal to you, O Muhammad. You were not there when they disputed as to who shall, 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 shall take care of Maryam, shall take care of Mary. Where is he getting these stories from?